there, so whoever was the first to say 500 got picked. So what I did was I split up between the MIC uh, webinar guys and the YouTube guys. And the guys in YouTube, there's hardly anybody spoke up. So, so the first person said $500 in MIC Slack is Mr. Jackpot Bones. Jackpot Bones, winner. All right. All right, so I'm going to post this now. So, whoever, so the first person to post in YouTube is, oh, shit, wrong guy, Kevin Rodriguez. <laughs> here, Bell, I'll take screenshots of the winners. Hold on, so we can save for later. All right, Jackpot Bones is a winner. Here, I, here so here, I'm going to post all, okay? Let me, let me do it right now. Let all me, right, so uh, you got it written down and everything? Here, here, here. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I have 10 winners. I'm going to post it right now. So what I did was this, guys. The first Sick. person to do 500 bucks was Kevin Rodriguez on YouTube and Jack Pot Bones. And then I did every fifth person thereafter. Dude, welcome to the cheese wheel, baby. <laughs> so I, I counted out every fifth person after the first uh, jackpot. Simple as that, guys. And guys, here's, here's the thing. These are not favorited. Dude, these are not moderators. These are not paid actors. That literally just went random, man. This is fucking awesome, dude. This is straight up random. I, I don't know who you are. I, I, like, I would wish to want to give to one of my friends so they can share with me. But, you know, <laughs> I did a very systematic approach. Whoever posted 500 bucks first got it. And then the fifth person down. Here, you know what? I'm going to take a screenshot of this battle. I'll send this to Alex later so he can handle yeah, this on the back end. So, people, guys, we'll get you some right. cheese. The people and, on the right hand side, the three are from YouTube and seven yep. from MIC. Yep. So, so anybody who's on the YouTube guys that just won, you can literally just text me um, or DM me and then uh, obviously show proof. <laughs> I'm going to get fucking 20 texts like, hey, I was that dude on YouTube. <laughs> like, send me proof, man. And then we will, uh, we'll, we'll make sure you're the winner, man. That's awesome. So, um, so let me, let me. Type, go ahead, Matt. So let me type. So the, the first, Kevin Rodriguez, Franco, F, and. Oh, that's awesome, Val. Thanks for doing that, man. Seriously. Person's name from Europe, I cannot pronounce, but there we go. So that's the YouTube winners. Congratulations, guys. Just just for hanging out with me, I guess. And hope and uh, congratulations. Dude, so, are you guys happy that you came to this webinar, man? You could have ditched on us and then not won some money. <laughs> Yeah, man. You see, you know, the $500 has turned into a thousand bucks, guys. So, you know, tell your friends. We just did this shit for fun. I mean, thousand bucks just for what? A bunch of likes. <laughs> Dude, Val's <laughs> birthday's coming up, man. December 11th, right, Val? We just tried something new. You know, this is our way just to give back, man. Seriously, you know, Alex and I do phenomenally well trading, knock on wood already. It's not like, you know, this. So we, we, we always love to give back, guys. I mean, the, I mean, if you take a look at our charts every day, you know, like one of our clicks pays for this. So it's, so you, I want you guys to get in a position where you guys are doing this. And that's why we work damn hard guys. To yeah. Post these webinars. Uh, Joe is doing a webinar yesterday at 7 PM large cap. Uh, tomorrow, Aloha trader Austin is doing one on Thursday. I'm coming back on that one too. Yeah, you, you see, man, we have education pretty much every single day of the week, except for Sunday. And Dude, it's fun for us. It's like, Val, literally this week, I was just like, fuck, man, you know what? I was the first guest on Aloha's a year and a half ago. I said, dude, why don't I just go on it? Like, because it's fun, man. This is the point of the community. It's just so much fun and passion, dude. Yep, so congratulations, guys. And uh, let's take questions. from Any questions, guys? Trading questions on YouTube, whatever? I'll pin because, this. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna disappear tomorrow. From <laughs> let's see, man. So I won't be around until next week, guys. We, we won't see Bao until 2021. <laughs> you know, so, you know, dude. When I make, man, I just sometimes, you know, like we we talked about yesterday. Yesterday, we were very blessed what we do, man. Me, I came, I came as an immigrant on a boat, and just being alive, guys. I don't talk about money. I don't care less about money. Just being alive, having food to eat. You know what? My best meal recollection of my best meal crackers. Ever? I'm telling you, man. I told Tosh this story. I know man. you, brother. You're my when brother, came, man. I know the story. On a boat, we were we were on the ocean for like two days straight, two three days, no food, no water, shit like that. We were starving, and then we got rescued. And the the, the sailor guy gave me a fucking cracker. 
And to this day, I still remember that fucking cracker. And I, I tear up when I think about it. I was like, holy shit, this is the best fucking meal I ever had in my life. Was a fucking Val, how, how old are you, Val, during that? Like four or five. Was really wow, young. Like man. So old enough to remember completely. Yeah, wow. I, I mean, I was so traumatized. I barely remember shit except eating crackers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But guys, but, to, but, you know, to, but, but people was like crackers. What was on the crackers? Caviar. <laughs> <laughs> well, see now, seeing your IG lives and seeing your YouTube lives, dude, you definitely you think that there's gonna be some the nice boat, caviar on them. The crackers. boat was actually a yacht, <laughs> <laughs> like Jordan Belfort's yacht. <laughs> I got rescued. First first drink was Perrier champagne. Oh before. shit! Fucking like lobster tail. <laughs> and I was like, I left out the big ass seafood tower with the shrimps. <laughs> yep, but that's what it is, guys. So you know what, man? Pay it forward. I if I can do it, seriously, guys, if I can do it, you guys can all do it. You know what? Is it how hungry you are? I was fucking hungry, guys. The problem with America yeah. is this. I would tell you right now, man, you guys got a fucking good. You don't have to worry about clean water to drink. Yeah. Third world countries, they they're walking one mile to get water from one pump, you know, shit like that. It, you know, you go to third world country, you, they, people make fun of like Asians eating dog and shit, but fuck dude, there's no food. Sometimes in these rural areas, they have no choice but eat rat and, and fucking dog and shit like that. So sometimes, you know, save your opinions because you know, we, we, we are very spoiled guys, seriously. You, you don't understand some of these, these, these people have to fucking eat dirt to live. I seen documentaries where they, they have dirt and they're just eating fucking mud. Yeah. Just because, you know, just to make their stomach not hungry. So the next time, you know, we 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 judge other people, kind of like, you know, think about how blessed we are. So instead of judging people, just just appreciate your life. And so I appreciate my life every fucking day, guys. And so sometimes when it's my birthday, you know, I, I think about how blessed I am. Like I can't believe I lived this long. You know, there's a lot of people that have never got an opportunity to live this long. So there you guys got it. So, At the end of the day, but, man, we just try to be the best version of ourselves, guys. And the thing about MIC, you know, the reason why we call it a family more than anything, guys, is there's no, there's no hierarchy. There's no, there's no ego. There's no big dick comparisons. It's like, I don't care if freaking Jackpot Bones made $90,000 today well, and Tim made $10. That's because Tosh, like, Tosh is like six foot 10. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, guys, everybody's equal in our eyes. Whether you make a fortune, whether you make a little bit of money, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Jack Bob was like, oh, shit, dude. <laughs> but the whole point, guys, is we're here after the same goal and we got each other's back. And, like, this is, this is what Val's – dude, Val's got the biggest heart of anyone I've ever fucking met in my life, dude. Val's birthday, birthday is December that. 11th, man, and he's out here just wanting to give you guys money. And this is what he does. If you guys want to Venmo me shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Val's like, let me get it back to the cash app, my OnlyFans. <laughs> but Val, Val's guys. technically down on locates right now. He needs to make a thousand back. Seriously, man. I mean, I'm, I'm fucking so blessed already. I mean, I'm looking around like sometimes, you know, we, we, we bitch and moan about all this shit. But in reality, we, we everybody here, the fact that you're here, it means that, you know, you don't have to worry about food. Shit like that. Just the basic necessities. So... Be hungry, guys. Don't be complacent. Don't don't say why me, not me. Why the other person? Because the other person worked harder than you did. You know the equalizer in life. Once again, I was not the brightest person. I barely spoke English. I, I didn't know English. My parents didn't know either. We were just hungrier than you were. And that's dude, are you kidding hard. me, dude? Val, my 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 dumbass copied my whole way through freaking high school and college. Man, I was an idiot when I graduated. I had to figure something out, dude. <laughs> like I had to learn a craft. Exactly, dude. You see there, you know, it's, uh, and so this is your opportunity, guys. This is your fucking opportunity to learn something that could potentially change your entire life and your family's life. So take it seriously, man. I mean, shit. You know, you can go out to dinner tonight. You can go piss away on, on bottle service, buy some dumbass fucking Gucci belt. Well, why don't you educate yourself? Invest in yourself, dude. I wear these fucking $10 black t-shirts, you know, so that I can save money, give it away. Shit like that, man. Because like, I, I love that what Bao just said, man, and now we're kind of really, you know, kind of going into like a psychology aspect of trading in life. It's like the re guys, you got to understand the whole reason why MIC was created. You think Bao and Alex needed more money than they had? Dude, it was because life, once you hit all your goals, is a little bit meaningless. You need to give back. Once you understand that you can actually provide value to people and help your fellow man, dude, there's nothing else to live for. 
money can get you so far in happiness, man. But dude, when you help people, when you go out of your way and find a life purpose beyond just yourself and live a life outside of yourself, that's when you realize what your purpose is, man. The MIC is pure passion, man. This is a passion project that, dude, when we, what, what, how many members did we want when we first started? A hundred? We didn't even know if we'd hit that, dude. Uh, but, I, I was surprised we, we got the meeting because uh, you know what, man, people followed me. And to be honest, we, I didn't really know, man. Dude, and and real, look how man. much we grew and look, just, you know, don't base it upon how much money Alex and I make. That's why I don't post my pain. out. It's pointless. I mean, I don't have nothing else to prove in life anymore. We, you know, I have Alex post on purpose. You know why? Because I mentored Alex. Yeah. I mentored Alex and look what he did. So now he's mentoring others. So this is a proof that, you know, from generation to generation, you can do this. You follow the MIC process. You can learn for yourself. Then educate your son who then will educate your grandson. You know, this is the lineage. This is the alternative to hundred thousand dollar education that people bitch about all the time. They can't afford college. Dude, you, can you fucking afford $200 a month to, to make as much or more than doctors? Than doctors, dude. Without the debt, guys, without the, be a doctor without the debt. You I mean, I make plenty enough. There's no need for me to brag anymore. You, you, you know, I, I post my charts. Alex posts his P&L. So that's how we work. Because you know what, man? Uh, you see exactly how I fucking trade. You, you, you don't think I make money? <laughs> you, know, you know, Alex makes a great amount of money. And, and guess what? You know, he got mentored. And he's mentoring now another person who's making that. James just bought his dream car at BMW i8. Dude, Bay is, it's a freaking expensive car. What, 120 I, I think grand or something? Faye is buying her own island right now. I mean, um, <laughs> what if Faye is buying her own universe, dude? <laughs> and, you know, Joe Kelly is, I moved out of large caps because small caps is no challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe Kelly's like, this is too easy. The MIC process yeah. works even better in big caps. <laughs> and I'm telling you, man, the, the strategies work, the process works, is up to your discipline. You know, you will never hear anybody say bad things about MIC. I think the only bad thing someone said was, what the fuck? I have to study? I thought this was an, I thought you'd give me pics and shit. Why don't you show me fucking alerts? And so we, we got put someone complain and try, want their money back because we did not did we did not do alerts. You know, that's the sort of complaint that we have. So you will never hear a complaint. You know, if the, the people that truly want to learn join MIC. Seriously, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so tired of fucking keep preaching MIC to people that are too fucking obsessed with getting rich quick those those people will only toxic or, or toxin will pollute the mic um, um community right so well, and it's like it's like bell i heard something uh recently that was really cool so and it kind of correlates to us right so jeff bezos was sitting down with warren buffett one time right the two, two richest men in the world right now elon musk but jeff bezos goes dude warren i, I and he probably said, dude, but he goes, Warren, your investing strategy is so simple and you lay out exactly how you did it to build generational wealth. Why doesn't everyone do what you do? And he goes, what? he has one thing to say to him. He goes, everybody, nobody wants to get rich slow. Everybody wants to get rich quick. Guys, that's MIC. If you're chasing that shiny bullshit object because your furu posted a $500,000 P&L and you're like, dude, I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be that in a year. You know what we teach, dude? And, it, and guess what? It's kind of boring, but it's effective. And why do you think our testimonials page is through the roof? Because we teach you how to make 200 to three grand every single day. And then by the end of the year, dude, you're a rich motherfucker, man. We teach base hits every single day. Guys, I don't care if you're making $50 a day to supplement your income because of MIC. Do you know what that is at the end of the year? It's a full-time salary for a lot of Americans. You guys have to understand that there is a difference. There are get rich quick services out there that you are going to chase that shiny object because you saw $400,000 P&L and guess what? You're going to lose all your money. Or you can come to MIC, put the training wheels on for the first month and say, I just want $50 a day. Teach me that. Then you level up because once you trade well, the money takes care of itself. When you learn the MIC process, which may be quote unquote more boring than the get rich quick adrenaline filled Bitcoin and Furu miners, you're going to realize that real trading is boring. These base hits that are expected by myself or Tom Diesel, the CNETs today, dude, like, look at this. How many of our members bank today on CNET today because it was as simple as our strategy gets? Pre-market overhead, set your line, set your top scale zone, right in the outer lines, cover on the wash. Dude, make your 200 a day. Unless you're leveled up, make your $2,000 a day. 
do that every single day. Trading's boring. And guess what? You're rich. All right, guys. Uh, we'll do this, man. Uh, we, we have some unadvertised specials for anybody who want to join in YouTube. Just text or, or MIC guys who want to upgrade. Just text uh, rich bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Secret code today for webinar, guys. Secret code. Rich bitch. Rich bitch. <laughs> but seriously, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to leave it here. I'm going to tell you right now, man. Discipline. The best traders are not necessarily the smartest, but Definitely they are not. the most disciplined, guys. Be it. I can, the best ones I can teach are the dumbasses that just follow my direction. That's, that's what an <laughs> algo is. An algo, okay? An algo Whoa. does exactly what I fucking tell it to do. You know, so if you want to be rich, become an algo. An algo is not smart, guys. Has no intelligence. Just follows the directions disciplined and you know how to implement your process that it's as simple as that man you don't need to be an engineer or rocket scientist dude you don't need to be elon musk man you don't leave need to your, figure out how to get to work leave you know what man if there's only two types of people in the world the ones that have been humbled and the ones that are about to get humbled so stay humble Guys, and the reason why we're giving these, uh, these unadvertised promos right now is because we truly, I, I know like, look, man, we are price raising in 2021, but we do it with a way that is fair. We go, guys, we pour endless, endless into this. We provide more content than you can ever imagine. We're providing way more on 2021, but we give you guys time to lock in. So anybody that, that, upgrades now or is a current member on an existing plan whether it's monthly whether it's an annual that will renew it what you were originally charged at for the guys coming in or who want to upgrade say from annual or lifetime that's not grandfathered in those will be different prices i'm just i'm just letting you guys know so this really is the last chance of the year to get these unadvertised prices. And again, it's just for the guys that put in the work, man. I'm not out here freaking blasting this on YouTube uh, every single day, dude. This is for the guys that show up every single week. I see all, so many familiar faces in here, man. I see even the guys on YouTube. These are for the hard workers, man. We reward hard work in MIC. That's what we reward. All right. Any questions, guys? Questions, questions, questions. Who's got some questions? Dude, this was the best show in high school. This is the funniest show of all time, man. Dave Chappelle. Dude, did I ever tell? Oh, my God. Did I ever tell you guys my Dave Chappelle story, dude? But bro, listen to this. No, I don't think I even ever told you this. So, dude, like nine years ago, I worked at a, in a bar, right? And it was closing night one night in this bar. And I remember me and the bartenders, me and the other bartenders, dude, we were, we were back. How old are you? Nine oh, years? Dude. I, I don't even. You were under 18? You, you were under 21 when you were at the bar? 22? Yeah, dude, literally like 22. It was right before trading, man. It was right before I learned trading. And I was a bar back with the bartender. But like I, I also helped out with the bar. So I was kind of like a hybrid bartender bar back. But dude, listen to this. It's, it's like freaking one in the morning, man, on like a Wednesday night. It is dead as shit. There were no tips. There was no money, right? And, and check this out. Dave Chappelle walks into our bar man with all the guys from his fucking show dude um the guy with the shaved head um uh, eddie murphy wasn't there but like a lot or like a lot or charlie murphy a lot of these guys man that were on the show and he was my free ashley larry dude ashley larry was there oh my god you just reminded me it was that actor yeah and and i reached i leaned over to him dude and i said Bro, you are my hero, man. You made my high school the funnest it ever was. All I did was watch Dave Chappelle my entire high school experience while the classroom was teaching. I said, I didn't listen to the teacher, dude. I watched Dave Chappelle. And they were like, oh, man, that means so much to us. Get out of here. And he he tipped us like $500 that night, bro. He was like, I'm rich, bitch. He literally yeah. said this. He didn't. He didn't slap you? <laughs> you no, I wish he wouldn't, but he slapped the chick behind me. <laughs> <laughs> what what, what does the, the five fingers say to the face or some shit? <laughs> Bro, yeah. Dude, I swear to God, this picture hits so close to home because he did this in person. He dropped 500 on the table back when we were fucking kids, dude. And we're just working bar back jobs on a slow night. And he was like, it's all good, dude. I can do this because I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, dude, drop some more money. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but Dave Spell, man, it was a funny experience, man. He's just as funny as in person as he is uh, on the show. We have one question from YouTube: How does a long buy deal with overhead resistance? This is uh, that that question doesn't even fucking make sense because once you learn the system, the lines, 
it it solves everything. The reason you why know? it doesn't make so, sense. So overhead resistance. How do you deal with overhead resistance? You sell. <laughs> you fucking sell before it fucking gets there. <laughs> yeah, literally. The fuck? What, what do you want to do? You want to eat all the overhead resistance? You know, that's a simple thing with trading, man. Do not overcomplicate things, guys. Do not ask these boogeyman questions. Like, you know, just, you know, what's the most simple, basic, straightforward answer? Fucking sell. And, and, and here's the thing, Kanan. It's like, how does a long bias trader deal with overhead resistance? Brother, this should not be the stock that you're looking to long. You should be looking at the hot tick of the day. Not to give too much information away, but why aren't you looking at the strong so, side? So how you do is you sell it and wait for the overhead resistance to, to die off and then you re-enter. Yep, that's exactly right. Or you focus on the freaking strong stock of the day, to, dude. Uh, you, know, you know what, man, guys? So there's two things, okay? Two types of traders. There's, a, there's ones that are PDT. So I understand you have to be more selective. So as a PDT T trader, pattern day trader under 25K, don't fucking look for the home runs. Make Never. your consistent money every fucking day. Just keep making it three hundred dollars. In one week, you're gonna have a thousand bucks. In one month, you're gonna have four thousand bucks. People think that if you're under BDT, you have to hit a home run to get up over twenty five grand, and that's the way people go broke. But if you chip at it every day, just keep chipping at it. Consistency: two hundred bucks, one hundred dollars, three hundred, five hundred. It adds up quick. Okay, and if you are over PDT overhead resistance you don't need to hold that motherfucker for five hours get the fuck out and then re-enter when it's best optimal for you so something like ntech guys because I, I think lucas said go through the ntech trade <laughs> rich bitch josh what more can i get well your lifetime bro if you want an afterlife and pay us more i mean i guess you could technically but <laughs> there's, there's no, no bro, there's you nothing good. to go over the ntech trade bro i mean it's pretty obvious line to line it breaks down certain lines in this line i, I don't know guys what else. The, the, and the thing about this is what do we talk about every single week the reason why ntech was a short at vwap is because dude look how far it opened it under it hadn't touched vwap for about 40 minutes it careens down with almost a death candle that popped the vwap and here's the thing coupling factors like joe and i talk about bro this is the VWAP push with overhead resistance. It's kind of broken down, right? Into the seven line, whole and half dollar. Now, if you take the second trade, like Bao talks about, it's less odds. This is the setup that you want. This is the easiest trade of the day. This one is a little bit more risky as it's the second push towards. And also you have to pay attention to what's taking you know, precedence. Like is XBIO still running? Is it a slow day? All these things taken into consideration and it was ETB. So if you had the balls to hit it, on the second push to seven, it did work out. But that first push, man, nail and bail is set up every single day. Okay, yeah, yeah, Tom, I'm giving too much. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna give you an example here. So this is what I did on Entech. I completely botched it. I didn't fucking hold it. I the zombie hour came. I said, I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here. It did a giant ass death candle down, and I'm like, I'm not gonna fuck around with it. I already missed the move. Yep. You know, this simple fucking trade. I don't need to nail the whole thing. I made three thousand dollars on this easy ass play. Following the process. So I'll, I'll tell you what I did. Take a look. Once the top was set, I scaled the bounce. Once the top was set, I scaled the bounce. Notice the symmetry of my entries. Those were the most simple, basic process trades for MIC shorting. The rest is up to you how greedy you want to be. This, this simple ass little trade was 3,000 bucks. That's more than I made fucking as an engineer, when I started out in a week, I did this in the fucking first half hour of the day Yep. on one trade, right? Um, so you think about it. You can do this every fucking day, guys. Don't get fucking greedy. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't think about all day theater bullshit. I want you guys to throw that shit out of your fucking mind. When you are good enough, where you're consistent enough, then you can start looking for all day theater bullshit that you want to do. But as a beginner, your job is to become consistent. Make, build your bankroll. Once you have a big enough bankroll, then you can start experimenting with these advanced topics, which to be honest, there's no motherfucker doing all day fading anymore because the zombies will kill them. It never works anymore. This is not the market it was four years ago, man. So, so my advice to you guys, trading is not about, being a full-time trader is not trading all the time. Being a full-time trader means that I have the opportunity to sit here and pick my spots, be a ninja, be a sniper, you know, nail and bell, go in, go out, undetected. Just make your money and get the fuck out. This is not a game of who has the best looking charts in the world. I want to make my money the least amount of stress with the least amount of risk possible. My fucking chart looks like shit. 
But I probably made more money than 90% of the people out there on that's one fucking trade. Dude, I love it, man. Real trading, dude, is boring. It's quick. It's expected. These are the expected moves that Bow just said. Hey, that, I love what in. Tosh says. I, I love that. It's expected moves. I'm here only to make money on the expected moves. Yep. Who the fuck expected this motherfucker's stock to go to $4? It was at $8 this morning. Nine bucks. Guys, that's, that, that, is, that is not expected. The expected move is to wait for the top to set, short the bounce up to that resistance line, and then cover on the wash. And I did that three times. I made three grand using small size. Dude, it's as simple as this, guys. Wait for the top. Short the bounce, cover the wash. Then once there's all this overhead, that push to VWAP, once you cover the wash, then you see this little forming base, this kind of consolidation point. If you do short the second, you better be covering here because here's what happens many times. This is the expected move. This could rip back. It may fade all day, but I don't want to risk a rip back for a fade all day. Get that so take easy a, so money. So take a look at that. This sucker went from eight seventy five down to $6. Then it spiked. A dollar and a quarter to seven twenty-five, which where I shorted the seven dollar line. Yeah, that? yeah. So and then I covered the wash. Look how quick this this was like a 30 second move, bro. So it's so, three grand in honestly, Bell, what is this? Not even five five full minutes of actually being in the trade. You make three dude, thousand. I, I hailed this shit for like a minute each trade. Dude, literally, literally, that's what I'm saying. Like three minute trade, five minutes for the it was whole one day. candle up and one candle down, right? So I mean, that to me is an expected trade. I expected that to happen. Yes. The rest, and, holy fuck. I didn't expect this shit to be four bucks. Otherwise, I'd be a billionaire. Who the fuck? Well, and and here's the thing, dude. It's like, look, guys, if you're covering right here where you should be, because this is the consolidation point, this is the expected move. Look, if you want to cover 80% and let 20% ride for this, sure, you could do that with a, with a stop at break even. But if you're holding 100% of your size, because, dude, the SEC filing said, et cetera, et cetera, and this could go lower and dipshit on Twitter thinks it could, that's, the, that's not, dude, that's not real trading, bro make the expected money. And if you want to play some fun money with a hard stop and very, very tight risk and maybe 10, 20% your size, that's okay. This you gotta be like, smart, it, man. You gotta be dollars. smart. Bro, guys, you guys got asking all these questions for $179. $197. Join him. I see you get all this. I do not understand why people are, are fucking not joining. Each week that you are waiting not to join, you are losing more money. Each week you are procrastinating to join because you're cheap. It means an extra week longer that you will not be a successful trader. Bell, here's the, here's another one, guys. So all morning, all morning, if you scroll through main trade, like say you're you're a YouTube guy right now and you sign up right now, you could go to the main trading chat and look at our chat history, bro. We warned all fucking morning about XBIO. Do not short this until what the death candle. Death candle comes if I don't trade. I honestly don't trade after the first hour until reversal hour. It's up to you if you want to do small size and wide range during lull. But dude, look what happened. This, if this would have happened in the morning, we would have been all over it. But we kept all of our short sellers safe on this today and kept the longs making money because this was this hot chick of the day. This was a strong chick until it does the death candle and then it does what it's expected to most likely do. But again, you have hard stops no matter what, but wait for this. If you just waited for this and shorted, dude, instead of in the morning, they get ripped your face on because you're like, oh, it's under view up, it's under view up. But no, dude, it has all the attention. This is the process of trading, man. We have made the MIC process so, so unbelievably down to a science that, fuck, dude, uh, it's just, it, ugh, man, we can't make it any more simpler than we've done, dude. I swear to God. Hey, Tosh, I'm, I'm going to ask one question that, and I want to answer this one question. That's it. Go ahead, Mike. For, for the guys on YouTube, why, why are you not joining? Seriously, I've seen some guys join every week. I still understand. Unless you live in a third world country where $200 is a lot of money. $200 is a lot of money to, to someone that lives in another country, right? But if you're a United States guy, I pretty much for certain your ass is fucking drinking a beer right now. You know, your fucking alcohol consumption costs more than 200 bucks a month. Dude, cigarettes you know, are $300 a month. So I, so, so I want to ask honestly, guys, what are we doing that is, that is causing people not to join? Is it because we, we, we do too many of these free webinars and people think they can learn from these free webinars? We do too many free YouTube videos, you know? And sometimes we do give away too much because that's how we are. Yeah. But, but think about this, man. You guys are not fucking learning as much as you could have. Could have. 
So, so this is for the YouTube guys. Why are you not in? I see some of you guys going every week asking questions, trying to get us to answer these questions, which my God, and you join MIC, you get all these fucking answers. Well, that's a, that's the thing that I was like, dude, we'll get people. I, I'll, I'll literally give you guys like a play by play, right? Like I'll have someone text my business line and have interest in coming in MIC. And he goes, Hey Tosh, dude, I've been watching your guys free content for two years. I'm like two years, but are you profitable? And he's like, well, I'm really starting to get there. And I said, dude, do you realize if you had access to all of our real content and not just free content, like our paid content and access to the moderators and trader calls and PMs all day with me and Aloha and all of our, mem do you realize you would have probably been profitable a year and a half ago? Like, <laughs> dude. Oh, seriously, dude. Some, you know what, man? Some days I just, I just, I just get really tired of answering questions when, you know, we sit here, we're having fun, give a thousand bucks away. These guys, you know, just come for the hundred dollars. I'm like, dude, you guys don't understand. You can make a hundred dollars in your sleep once you learn how to trade properly. Oh, Joe, that's a dude. That's a really good line. I don't try to get a job as a doctor and then go to medical school, bro. That is brilliant. Yep, guys. So, how do you scale into this? You know, uh, moderator calls, guys, for the guys in the see If we don't answer your questions today. You know what, man, after hours, post the question in after hours. We have a, hundreds of guys willing to help you. Don't, you know, after hours, guys, is a great place to meet friends, socialize, and, and have your trading questions answered. Dude, and, and be informed on up-to-date events, news. You know, this is a fun community in the sense that, guys, in after hours, it's not just about trading shit. I learned stuff about real estate in here. I learned stuff about gun laws or political <laughs> stuff or anything you guys want to talk about. As long and, as and the best, negativity. the best memes, man. I get all my memes on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bow's, Bow's the silent meme keeper. Everybody posts a meme. Yep. All right, guys. Uh, I'm tired as hell, guys. <laughs> <laughs> me too, man. What do you think? Short and sweet today, Bow? Or are there any yeah, questions? any more questions? I, I, the YouTube guys didn't really answer any questions, so maybe we should stop doing YouTube for a while, guys. What do you guys think? We, so hey, guys dude, YouTube, I'm telling you, if, if you, you don't, don't if appreciate, you don't, we'll cut it if off. If you don't appreciate, we we gonna cut it off. Seriously, I I just want to know like what is stopping you from joining. Guys, we understand if you can't afford it. That's one thing. Truly, truly, truly. Like we can't. Uh, we, we're not going to hold that against you. But if you have a $5,000 trading account and you're trying to trade your $5,000 before putting $200 a month to education, brother, you're wrong. I'm sorry. And I'm not even saying just MIC joining. You need to invest in learning. You can't do this alone. Nobody can. I could barely seven years ago do it alone without Bow and Alex's help before something like Ale uh, before something like MIC was started. Aloha trader, Joe Kelly, dude. The point is, is what the community offers. It's not just me. It's not just Bao. It's the collective. It's everything. It's the different perspective. It's, oh, I never thought about it that way. It's, I didn't realize longs were thinking about this setup that way, or I didn't realize overhead worked this way for shorts, or Tosh was looking at death candles this way. And how do you scale a death candle? How do you do hard stops? There is so much to this that if you guys have a two or $3,000 account or even 5,000, and you're trying to gamble that away before investing in your education, you're nuts. You are nuts nuts i just we got to be blunt dude we got to be blunt man we got to be blunt or you're not gonna yeah. learn well thanks guys um the guy the youtube guys didn't really answer that question either so maybe we should just skip it for a couple weeks i don't know man and, and dino uh, just said it best bow dude how literally the watch list channel like how how worth it is this alone seriously Dude, man, that pays for your membership. I just don't dude, get it. But uh, dude, this was this was today. Alex was talking about um, the watch list and everything that he liked. Literally, a game plan, game plan, game plan, game plan. He'll update it as we go along, close to the open. These were the levels he wanted: Entic, Chris, CNET, Archon. Dude, it's like I, I just don't. Uh, oh, someone said this. This is a good point. Okay, I want to address this, and, and I'm going to tell you why the fallacy is so stupid. So someone said. First time viewer, honestly, there's so much BS out there. Motherfucker has to be skeptical. I like what I heard and we'll mull it over and do some investigative work. It's fucking $200. This is not like I'm asking you for fucking a million dollars. Yeah, when all your foodrooms are going to say you know, all these different programs that'll make you rich are five grand and seven. And, 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 and it's, it's funny because, you know what, man? I, I put on all these shows all the time. It's like, dude, have you heard any bad shit about us? I just don't, I just don't fucking get it, you know? Um, you know, but you know what, man, to be honest, to be honest, you have to want to help for yourself. I'm not here to, I don't, I don't want to convince anybody. 
I just want to know the reasons just for my own self, just to see how I could do a better job with MIC. Yeah, for um, our current members. Because to be honest, man, if you're skeptical, I don't want you being MIC. I don't want you keep always being skeptical. You know, it's up to you to, you know, if you're going to do some shit, go in. But the people that are always fucking scared are the people always going to be, be left out. If you're fucking scared about $200, taking a chance on a $200 a month thing, you know, then you got some problems. I mean, to be honest, you know what, man? Then good luck with your life. Sometimes you have to fucking take a risk. You, you would walk into a fucking restaurant, drop $200 on a fucking drinks and dinner and a bad movie. You know, that night in the movies, like 150 bucks already. Dude. You know, 100 bucks. Dude, right? and, that, and that's it. Val, you just said it best. It's like, dude, we don't even want skeptical motherfuckers in here. Dude, I got a guy that texts my business line the other day, and I get this about once a week. He goes, before I sign up for MIC, I need you to prove to me, Tosh, that you guys aren't scammers. Dude, I don't even message a guy like that back. You know why? He's going to be a toxic person in our club, dude. He's going to come in with a chip on his shoulder because he lost all his money from Furus. Bro, I don't even text a guy like that back. Oh, oh, I have to go out of my way to prove to you a skeptical I, motherfucker. Honest, man, very... I, 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 I'm so tired. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Seriously, dude, get the I, fuck like, out. I'm too tired. I want to spend dude, my time. Bro, I, I, there are so many lie, good dude. people. There are so many good people at MIC. Seriously, if you're a dick, and we did this before, if you're a fucking dick, we will kick your ass out. There's no fucking. We did that. Dude, you, you, you guys before. do realize we turn people down daily, right? Like, I don't think you understand that. MIC is not a cash card, dude. We're not after really freaking pure money, dude. We get paid for our time, but if you come in toxic, if you come in as a bad person, negative, unsupportive, not our people, you're out, dude. Take your money back. You're out, dude. That's that we don't we don't tolerate that shit. Yeah, man, we're not desperate here, dude. No, I, dude, I, we are fuck, not dude. five dollar horse. <laughs> I, I, I don't need this shit to be honest. I do this shit because I want to help people. But to be honestly, man, if it gets to the point where it's just too so stupid, I was like, sign up. Val, look at this. I can make money every fucking day. I don't need this shit. Val, uh, look at the but, screen. But you know what, man? There's so many good people. There are so many pe good people in MIC. That's why I, I come every fucking day to do this. Because you know what, man? There's honestly good people that want to learn. And that's why I want to keep the riffraffs and the assholes away. No, this is what it would look like if we were Furus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> look at Alex. I mean, let me find you that boat picture. That boat picture is better. Who, who made this, dude? <laughs> that yeah, looks stupid yeah, as let, let, let me go find this picture. Hold on. <laughs> dude, that looks like Yoda in this picture. <laughs> I mean, fuck. I just gave away a thousand bucks for the fuck of it. I mean, were you trying to scam? Who the fuck am I trying to scam? Dude, Seriously? five nine is just, crazy. You know man. what, man? Dude, I fuck this shit. Anybody who's skeptical, they, they send an application. We did this before. You have to fucking get approval before you fucking join. Seriously. Bro, this you know is what, what skeptical I, people of MIC I, I, don't I, realize. I, we're we're going to get to the point where realize. the guy texts me, prove to me you're not a scammer. I'm like, motherfucker, prove to me you're not going to be a toxicity in our wonderful environment. <laughs> you, you know what? Seriously, man. I think we got to get to the point where we're going to have to take an application to get. To I swear that. to God, dude. Because you'd be honest with you, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, we're yeah, dude, business, do I. I I'd rather have quality over quantity, guys. So, ongoing, maybe you have to prove that you're worthy to join my seat. Seriously. Wait, let me, let, let, me expand, let me blow this one up. Hold on. This, this is too good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we missed the capture on the top. You missed the capture on the top. You missed the capture on the top. Oh, shit. When you see the girls like this on Instagram, remember who owns the boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. All right, guys, this is fucking too good, guys. We're gonna we're gonna start going helping members back at, after hours. So thanks for attending and contact Tosh uh, for the ones that won. Guys, too much fun, man. So contact, um, actually, so what we're going to do, guys, if you're a member and you won, Alex said to DM him personally. So anybody who's a currently a member, if you cannot reach Alex because you're not a member, then I want you to text me at 213-458-5997 uh, for the three YouTube winners. Uh, just text me you won. Please provide proof of your username. Um, it, maybe take a screenshot in the top right corner or something so I know it's you. And then for anybody that is a member or anybody that's looking to join, guys, 
we are raising prices in 2021. I'm not, I can't stress this enough. We give you time. We say it 10,000 times. This is the end of the year before we, we price raise. So for anybody who is specifically in this webinar today, you definitely get a certain price point that's exclusive to you. Just text rich bitch. <laughs> and then um, we're going to take care of you, man. But we're going to get back to uh, helping the members out in chat, networking in after hours. And as always, man, bow, dude, what a, what a fun time, man. Seriously, brother. Yep. All right, guys. And one last thing, man. You know what, man? Trading will always be here. If you're not ready, you know, you can still study on your own. That's why we provide the YouTube channel. You know, uh, we're not fucking, you have to be ready to trade, guys. You, you cannot be chaotic. You cannot be in the fucking rehab and have to fucking answer your parole officer and shit like that. So get your personal affairs in order and then we'll see you when you're ready, man. Get your life right first, buddy. That's it. All right, guys. See you. See you, Joe. See you, everybody. Familiar faces. Yeah, thanks, see you guys. Back. Thanks. I'll Bye. see you in after hours. Bye, guys.